For nearly five years, my daily driver was an old autonomous standing desk. Although I switched setups a few months back, when Autonomous reached out to partner on video, I jumped at the chance because I genuinely loved the previous gen desk. First, let's clear out the old setup, clean up the room, and get the new desk and chair installed. The new Autonomous desk weighs in at about 72 pounds. That is lighter than my old desk setup. However, hauling it up three flights of stairs in this townhome was still absolutely brutal. I'm so excited to build a new home for my custom Linux Mint PC. Stick around for a detailed desk tour followed by a deep dive into my Linux Mint setup from install to full customization. I've added chapters below if you want to skip around as well. Now the autonomous ergo chair is about 45 pounds, so it's not as heavy, but the box is a bit more awkward. Regardless, I safely got everything up the stairs and I do appreciate the weight difference from my previous desk and chair. They actually both were much heavier than this current gen, so it's nice to see the lighter build. I'm hoping it's equally still as premium. I'm starting with the Autonomous Smart Desk 5. While they advertise a quick 10 to 20 minute assembly, I've sped up the footage so we can skip the boring parts and get right into the setup. Right away, I love how intuitive the instructions are, but I also love that not only do you get the included parts, but you also get the included tools with any autonomous product that you purchase and have to assemble. I wanna give a huge shout out to Autonomous for partnering on this video and shipping this out at lightning speed. If you wanna check out this desk or chair for yourself, I've dropped links right in the description. Thanks again for being such an awesome partner, Autonomous. I'll start by unboxing the Smart Desk 5 components, getting everything organized and cleaning out the cardboard clutter. Overall, the assembly for the Smart Desk 5 was a breeze. They weren't kidding, it genuinely took me about 20 minutes. I love not having to dig out my toolbox. Everything you need comes right in the box like I mentioned. Plus, the instructions are straightforward with detailed notes that make the entire process foolproof. Having owned previous autonomous desks, I have to say this one in particular was a lot easier to assemble than the previous gens. I've noticed that throughout the years that Autonomous has been growing and learning from all of their previous gen desks and continuing to enhance the overall experience, especially when it comes to the easy installation of these desks so you can get up and running quickly with your setup. Now I did get to select the color of the desk and I did go with this beige option primarily because I think it'll tie in very nicely with my overall aesthetic with the green fractal terra jade case the minty matcha keyboard keycaps that i'm using as well i think overall it's going to be a really nice aesthetic i also want to note there's also an included cable management tray with this desk which is really nice previous generations i had to purchase that separately with autonomous so it's really nice to see that just included in the box here from a cable management standpoint they also include some nice cable management accessories to ensure all of the cables are out of the way out of sight out of mind the height adjustment on this desk is buttery smooth i'm also loving these new side hooks they're perfect for headphones to keep them within reach. Front and center is the Samsung 32 inch G8 Odyssey OLED monitor powered by the star of the show, my custom Linux Mint PC, a desk mat for aesthetic, the Keychron K4 keyboard with custom matcha keycaps, and a Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. To tie the Linux theme together, I added some Android and Tux figures and tucked away is my work issued MacBook Pro. As always, links for everything are in the description. I have to say this setup is looking incredible. The beige finish on the autonomous desk really ties the whole aesthetic together perfectly. And while I'm stoked to be able to stand while working again, no setup is complete without a chair. So let's finish this off with the new autonomous ergo chair. Assembling the ergo chair was just as easy, if not easier, than the desk. Taking only about 5-10 to 10 minutes right out of the box, it's a huge upgrade over my previous chair. Between the premium build and the cushioned headrest, it's going to be a lifesaver for long hours I spend here on my day job and making videos. Speaking of videos, I just passed 20,000 subscribers. If you aren't part of the community yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button while you're at it. I greatly appreciate it. Similarly, the Ergo Chair X here is a lot easier to assemble than the previous gen chair that I had from Autonomous. Again, I have to shout out Autonomous. Regardless of them sending this to me, I have to say their chairs and their desk have been improving year over year, and this new chair feels incredibly solid. Taking a moment to catch my breath after those stairs in the assembly, I can tell you it's super comfortable. I'm especially loving the lower lumbar support and the adjustable headrest. It feels premium and durable, exactly what I was looking for, and it truly ties the whole workstation together. I'd love to hear what you think of the new desk setup, so drop a comment below. Now let's switch gears to the software software side. I saw a ton of comments on my last video asking for a detailed Linux Mint desktop setup tour, so let's dive right into it. I'll walk you through the process using GNOME boxes for this demo, but this mimics the exact setup I run daily on my main NVMe SSD. The installation is standard and very straightforward. I don't do anything special during the initial setup of Linux Mint. A fresh install is quick, and applying my customizations only takes a few minutes once Mint is up and running. 
Once Mint is installed, the very first step is dropping into the terminal for a quick sudo apt update and upgrade. It's always best to make sure the system is fully patched and current before we start customizing. First, I install Plank. This is a tool that gives the desktop a clean and macOS style dock at the bottom of the screen. Once installed, I recommend you go to Startup Applications and add Plank to your startup so it's already present at initial boot. Next, I'll move the panel to the top of the desktop display, then I'll open Plank. Once open, right-click and select Preferences to customize the Plank dock. I adjust to Transparent and make a few slight adjustments, but you can of course configure to your liking. Next, search for and open applets. Scroll down and enable the workspace switcher. This allows you to have multiple workspaces and switch between them. I always update the settings to simple buttons over the default, however. Download Cinemenu, a more customizable menu preferred by many on Mint. Enable once downloaded, then remove the default menu. Enter Panel Edit Mode, move the menu to the far left as well as the window switcher. Then remove the grouped window list. Right click and configure Cine Menu. Here I pretty much remove everything and swap from grid to list view for a much cleaner view. I've had some that are new to Cinemenu or seeing Cinemenu ask me why I use this. It really goes to just how customizable this menu option is right within Linux Mint. It's a very easy applet to download, install, and set. And once you get it all configured, you can always go back and adjust it for more customizable options in the future. For me, I always just select a custom menu icon and remove the text for a much cleaner look. That's typically all I really do with Cinemenu from my stance. Again, I like to keep all of this very simple and very repeatable when I install Linux Mint on my setup. After that's complete, I'll move the clock and calendar to the middle of the panel. I'll also remove the corner bar and then adjust the menu to be a thinner list. Now open themes. You can change to dark mode, for example, but let's take it a bit further. Select advanced in themes and you can get even more creative. Download custom themes or icons, for example. I use the Jasper dark green theme, link in the description. Once downloaded, open files, show hidden files, search for dot themes, open and move your custom theme downloaded to that folder. Extract and ensure your preferred theme is in the dot themes folder. Open themes, and now you can select your newly downloaded custom theme. And as you can see, as I select my custom theme of choice, it truly ties together the overall look and feel that I'm going for with this setup. If you prefer, you can also update your clock calendar format for a more detailed view. Personally, I just adjust the format so that way it looks a bit nicer there at the top in the middle of the panel. As I noted in my last video, I'm a huge fan of my Linux for work dot files as well as Steven's wallpaper collection. You can easily extract all of the wallpapers and pull updates when needed. All of the details are available here and I'll provide a link in the description. Create a wallpaper folder in the pictures folder, then do a quick sudo apt install git to install git. Copy and paste the command, and the wallpapers will be in the new folder momentarily. When selecting your wallpaper, add the wallpaper folder we just created for quick reference. Now you can select from any of these beautiful wallpapers. There's many to choose from, many great aesthetics. So many, in fact, I often swap between many of these and many of the favorites that I have of these wallpapers, but you really can't go wrong with any out of this collection. 
For all intents and purposes of this video and walking through my setup, I'll stick with my minty vibes, however, and keep the wallpaper one-to-one -one with my current setup. Now that I have the wallpaper, we have all of the panel updates, we really have gone through all of the overall setup. The final step for me is installing the few apps I use every day like Gnome Boxes, OBS Studio, Caden Live, and Audacity for content creation. Once installed, my full Linux Mint customized desktop experience is complete. Closing the virtual, you can see in just a few minutes, you too can have a fully custom Linux Mint environment that looks and feels modern without many steps. I have been dailying this setup for quite some time. It's stable, functional, and it really ties into the overall aesthetic of the Fractal Terra Jade case on this custom PC, as well as this new desk setup overall. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions, let's discuss. I also put all of the above details in the description with step-by-step -step instructions of these Mint customizations for added reference. I truly enjoyed putting this video together. Huge thanks again to Autonomous for sending over the desk and Ergo chair. I am absolutely loving this new setup. The chair is a massive upgrade in comfort compared to my old one. I'm actually looking forward to the countless hours I'll spend here, both on my day job and creating content for this channel. I'm also really enjoying this Linux journey and this Mint desktop simply just works for me. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.